Jain and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I make videos on studying in UK, productivity, lifestyle and much more. So, hello, kaise ho and ke do ke me? So, Aage moon ma. That's the only word I have learned, okay? That's nice. <laughs> Today we have Jix with us. So, Jix will introduce himself. He is from Nigeria and a very good friend of mine. Oh, well, um, Jix is just the, the short form. My full name is Chukujeku Joseph, as a man. I'm from Nigeria, like she said, precisely in the United States. Nigerian people will know. So I can never speak those words. These are very hard for me. Really, those words are really hard for me. So today's point of this video is like we are going to discuss how hard or easy it is to get a job after pursuing data science in UK as an international student. So Jake, I would like to know your points on it. Like what do you feel about it? Yeah, he's good. Um, of course, today um, the world is going into data. Um, um, most of the job opportunities are around data. If if it is not data engineering, it is data science, it is data analysis. So I feel good that I'm in, in the sector where I am needed and my skills and everything that I need to offer are valued in my environment. So that's one of the motivations to be here. And in, probably that's where it should be. As I'm very lame, I just forgot to introduce why he is a guest because he has got a part-time professional job in a Ubisoft company as a data analyst and also he's one of the brightest students in our class. Stud very, very studious. He's studious than any girl, any boy. Like he's always studying with his laptop on and like stuff like that. Okay. So maybe Jax, you would like to tell something about LinkedIn or resume and how it can help to like get a job in UK as a student? Yeah, LinkedIn is my go-to, um, in quotes, professional um, social media. I like to add the word professional because it works in a different way. Uh, it has helped me to get um, two opportunities. Um, one, um, an internship opportunity. Um, I just knew about one thing. You <laughs> got two? What was the internship one? I, even I didn't knew this. <laughs> yeah, so one is... Um, it's more like where I groomed my skill. Um, I, I did internship with them. And the second one is the current one that I have now is to tell you the importance of LinkedIn and uh, how important it is to maximize the networks and the opportunities that we have there. There is a whole lot of opportunities in LinkedIn. So I enjoin you all to um, LinkedIn. I'll just add his LinkedIn ID down below in the description box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very, very important. One thing I would like to add on this is that often for professional job people search on Indeed, Glasgow, Glassdoor it is and prospects and stuff like that. But the thing is the most powerful tool is LinkedIn. Like I have seen 10 to 15 people getting their jobs from LinkedIn and it has helped them a lot. And talking about CV, that's one thing I have noticed. Maybe it can be right, maybe it can be wrong, but it's just my experience that in CV people often... Uh, like emphasize on the experience which is not needed or education or certificates which are not needed or related to your course let's suppose i'm doing data science then a warehouse operative thing on cv might do not create such a powerful impact yeah yeah instead we should keep it short and crisp and just like emphasize the things which are needed yeah i think it is called optimization to optimize your linkedin so if like for instance I was once a credit analyst. Okay, yeah. In, in Nigeria. Back, back in Nigeria, right? Yeah. So, but the way I have done my LinkedIn, or you will... All, you can all never the, know that you were a credit yeah, analyst. The algorithm, what the algorithm will suggest from my profile will be a data analyst. Okay. Because nice. I have optimized my profile to tell you that, what I'm into. Yeah, that's what... So, okay. we should not focus either on LinkedIn or a resume that what we do like of course we should mention some or the other way but we should not like emphasize on it so jakes i would really like to ask you this question that why did you particularly choose data analysis and given that that he does not have any prior experience in data analysis but then do you found a job so what do you think that not coming from a data analysis background and pursuing data analysis what should be your step to get a professional job in there yeah um Thank you for the question. Um, I think one thing that stood out for me in, in all the pursuit for the, um, what I do now is the passion. 
and it, it, it's just like uh, every other thing can attract you to it like people will say maybe i'm tired of my job maybe someone is abusing me where i am all those things can be one of the two things one of the things that can attract you to another field but for me what stood out for me is the passion i have for it the passion i have for the world technology of today which is all around data so you can see how we've moved from data to these days we're now talking about chat chat gpt which is all based on data that views. was my question you know i so, was like i secretly built this question that i'll ask him out of nowhere in a blue moon and then he just suddenly okay i'll ask it right now not to spoil my anything like <laughs> do you think that invention of chat gpt anytime soon can take data scientists or data analysis job no it can because that we are we are we are in the behind of it yeah that's so, so the odd. people that should be threatened are the people whose work are on the interface which is for instance um maybe um the, the job of a researcher for a company for instance just just guessing or other jobs that do not require um the kind of job we do so i'm not trying to um be biased but um, I, I, in, in my opinion i think without the data science artificial there will be no chat gtp yeah that's what data scientists or artificial intelligence people had created this artificial yes. intelligence platform known as chat gpt so there is no way that data scientist job can be taken by chat gpt of course you can use that tool as it is a very powerful tool mm -hmm. you can use it to find any job and then maybe you can specialize in that particular role okay. but it's not taking your job at all I agree and like we both are international students so what uh, problem have you faced in getting a job or you think that people might face this problem while getting a job like yeah yeah thank you for the question um it's very important that people know that um it is never easy especially um as as, as an international student um who is here with student visa yeah so, that too you can just work 20 hours a day or, or so weeks, first, first and first you you are streamlined within your 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 working style which is 20 hours like she said mm -hmm. and then most employers wouldn't like to employ you while you are still studying because um in quotes, they won't like to employ someone who will need to work 20 hours in yes. our kind of job. So they would like a full time. Yeah. Even, even those that would like part time will, will just like you not to have a student visa. It's, it's, it's just, it's like a percentage. It's not in every case anyway. So once you mention that you're a student, half of the jobs are gone. Tell them. I'm telling you, once you mention that you're a student, there is slim chance that you, you, you get that opportunity. But I'm an, op I'm an optimist, so <laughs> I would like to discourage you. You're, you're, like, I'm here as a living testimony. I'm studying, I'm still a student, but I've got, I'm working as a part-time data analyst. So it's just to tell you that there are exceptions and yours might be different as well. So. Of course, I want to clarify that this video is not about glorifying that he got the job and everybody will get the job. This video, the sole motive is that if you are very passionate about data science, if you are willing to learn whatever comes in your way and you work hard for it, there is high chances that you will get that job. But there are no certain steps or method that you can follow to get a job it's your own journey you have to trial and error what works for you what does not work for you but at the end of the day if you work hard for it if you learn in this process you will definitely get the job and in no means we were trying to like teach you or like guide you it's your own journey but we were sharing our own experiences which we are very glad to share it so will you add anything like do you want to say anything to my audience yeah um one thing i would like to add is let the passion lead you yeah, and very passionate. let the passion lead you why i keep talking about passion is the real passion is the one that sustains you in it when the difficulties come this is what i mean there is this um energy we have about a new thing mm -hmm. you know 
we will we'll buy a new phone, we'll buy a new car, we'll That's buy a new clothes. There is always this energy that is attached yeah. to this, this bond that is attached. At some point, they will die away, right? Yeah. So, but what? So this is where the the passion comes in. The passion is what sustains you in it because at some point you will get tired, you get bored, and you want to jump into a new thing. Yeah. So, if you really have passion for that, it will keep you in it. Once you remember why you are in it in the first place, that's what keeps you in it. You struggle, you bond in the night hours, you don't sleep. Let me not use the word sleep so it, it will look like we don't sleep. I mean, yeah. I love You're my sleep. You're not satisfied at your yeah. work. Yeah, I love my sleep. So I would like to give the wrong notion there. So, um, but the idea is to, to work hard um, for what you love to do. I love this. For any other thing, first and foremost, I love this. I love to be referred to as a data scientist, a data analyst. It gives me special joy having known why and how I, I and how I got to this place. I would love to add this point that data science is once a job that if you are not passionate about it, you cannot pursue it because every other day there are new languages coming up. Yeah. Every other day, there is new packages coming up in Python. Yeah. Every other day, there is some addition in things. Yeah. And if you are not passionate about learning it every day, rather you should not like choose this, choose this thing as a career. And now I'm realizing it that I should like rename this video as motivation for data science rather than how to get a job or anything. Yeah, yeah but, I think I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, he's a good motivator. I won't talk about me. I'll, I do sh stupid thing on my videos. Okay. Kao de, bye guys. It was nice meeting you. It was really nice having you, Jakes. Yeah, thank and you very much, Jake. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the content of the video. And if you people really enjoyed this content, or if you would like to see more such videos on data science, or specifically data science, or any data analysis, something like that, let me know in the comment section below. And I will truly work on it. And till that time, take care. Bye bye. See ya. Yeah, bye bye.